Good afternoon, Off the Bench Sports family. We are here at St. Martinville High School. It's that time of year, Dow Mitchell Senior Classic. Joining us right now is Brandon Singleton, senior, senior guard here at Bill Platt. What's up, B? What's up, what's up? Welcome, man. Hey, thank hey, thank y'all for inviting me to y'all school, man. It's all good, you know? Hey, I learned something new about St. Martinville, and that was y'all got two gyms. <laughs> like, a lot of, lot, of, lot of small areas you go in don't have multiple gyms, but y'all come from a tradition of winning here at St. Martinville. What's it been like in your four years here at St. Martinville for you? Uh, it's been a great experience. Like, since my freshman year, we wasn't really that good. We missed the playoffs because we was a young team. And, you know, I took that in. But then the next year following, I've been playing varsity since my freshman year. But like, I ain't really played much. I got in, you know, to give like our other players some rest. So my sophomore year, we went, had a good record. You know, we went, made it to the uh, quarterfinals and we lost to Wasserman. And we made, it, we made it pretty far here. And we were still a young team. We had one senior, you know, full of juniors. Then my, my my junior year last year is when we made it to stay run up. And that was an amazing experience. You know, I'm trying to get that again this year with my team. I I, I remember the Wiseman quarterfinal game in Monroe. What what do you remember about the game and how did how has that moment helped you with right now? Uh Wasserman game they brought a lot of intensity. You know, the crowd was going crazy and we, it's just something we wasn't used to that season. But it's like the next year, the following year, it prepared us for let for uh, Ville Platt with the same intensity, the same crowd, and we, we was prepared for that mentally. Um, so they just took it to their hands and made it work. Man, how much how much has playing for Coach Amaru Jones helped you? What have what have you learned from him? Not just as far as basketball goes life things that you've taken from him that you can apply to your everyday life? Uh, Coach Jones definitely helped me grow as a person. Um, it's like, he helped me with my integrity because even when he's not in the gym, he make, you know, we still have to do what we gotta do. He definitely helped my integrity a lot. Um, and just everything, you know, he teaches, he teaches during practice. He doesn't say much during the game because he lets you make, the, make those mistakes by yourself. You learn from what you do. And that's what I like about Coach Jones. He, He's a very good coach. He's very smart, and I learned a lot from him. Um, you you had a chance to grow up with with not a lot of pressure on you coming into your senior year, playing with Gabriel and Mitchell and, and those guys. What do you learn from their leadership that's helping you be a leader on court and off court this season? Um, definitely. Uh, when they leadership it came like my role wasn't as big. But they prepared me for a bigger role. Being in practice, whenever we would play against them, I would play with our squad this year, which made me take a bigger role. So after practice, you know, they'll talk to you, sit there, talk to me, and they'll talk about next year, and let me know, like, you know, this, you know, next year we want y'all to do the same thing. They really, you know, they looked out for us when they came to practice. And right. Yeah, we play them. What What are some team goals that that you guys have set for this year that on the surface seem maybe impossible, but you have faith in, in your, your brothers so y'all can figure something out and, and get there. Uh, a lot of the people really don't believe in us, but I think we could make it all the way. And being that because we're, we're a different team. This is people would say, because people didn't see us play much last year, it's because we had a different five. We had a new five, they're not used to that. But we're starting to you know win games. We're on a like, three or four game winning streak right now. We're just coming off a win. And, you know, I feel I feel good about this season going into the playoffs. I feel like we can make it real far. And I think we could I think we could be Madison Prep. People don't believe in us. They don't think we could do it, but I think we could do it. Wow, that's a I, I'm not gonna even I, I I don't like I don't you you know, I don't I don't step into water that's potentially could go above my head. And and so that's a that's a gigantic statement. Like I can't, I, I can't. I don't like stepping into that water, but you gotta address you gotta address that. 
Like, you can't make a, a statement like that and then cut off. What, like, not that Madison Prep or Wiseman or, or Carroll or any other, other top 3A schools um, are impossible to beat because that's why you play the game. That's why you practice. That's why you develop skill set. That's why you work on your basketball IQ and knowledgeability. But what gives you guys that, that drive and confidence here at St. Martinville? Well, it was definitely losing. Losing last year gave us, we know how that feels. So if you make it all the way, we, you know, they, they already won and they probably already come with the mindset to say Martinville would beat them last year, we could beat them again. But that mindset not gonna win your games. You gotta come in ready, prepared, ready to win, ready to fight. And being that we lost last year, we already know how that feels. So we come in with a different mindset. We've been working hard every day in this gym. People don't know how hard we work. We work hard, so we're ready, we ready to show all that in court. Um, so it's a thing called the target. Um, sometimes people put it on the wall, or sometimes you say something and you may put it on the front of your chest, or you know you put it on the side of your face, or whatever. Either way, the target may be established after this interview. How do you accept all the people that are going to come after you guys with even more intensity now, um, maybe after seeing this interview? Um, it could bring it. I mean, we always preparing. We always getting ready for the next next game. Next, you know, if this don't work, this is what we do. If this don't work, we always got we always two steps ahead. Starting ever since Carol brought that pressure to us, um, it made us you know it, it opened us, it woke us up, you know, because no team brought pressure like that to us during the season. That was the first game where they actually brought, it was fully intense. You know, they pressed, they trapped, they did all that. And we wasn't ready for that. But after that game, we've been mentally ready. We've been prepared for all that. You know, we're ready for anything they bring to us. Okay, I got you, I got you. Brandon Singleton, St. Martinville Tigers basketball. Thank you for taking a moment with Off The Bench Sports. It's all good. <laughs> That's why you my guy. I love you. Uh, remember, get off the bench, get into the game.